Oh, sorry. Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm gonna be making another Photoshop, to Photoshop tutorial on one of Ulrich Colette's. I know I butchered the name. Um, type of series is I guess he makes face. I can't say it right. It's like French, maybe. It's a word. That word. F A C A D E. I can't pronounce it correctly, so I'm not gonna try. It's basically two faces just sort of smushed together, merged together, and it looks fairly creepy. And mine isn't going to be as good as his, but we're gonna try. Um, also, my voice is a bit rough, I don't normally sound like this, uh, unfortunately I have a bit of a cold, and I'm on a different computer than I'm normally on, so, with all of those in mind, uh, bear with me, this is gonna be our goal. So I've already made one, and this is, uh, my sister and my other sister, my sister and my sister, that's her face put together, um, that's what we ended up with, and it could use some touching up around the outside, but this is what we did. And um, I took a photo of her facing forward. She's a very serious person. And then on the side of her face, she's, I asked her to make a funny face. And she stuck out her tongue. And I basically went, oh, are you Miley Cyrus in it? And she laughed. So I took a picture of her laughing, which was pretty nice. And again, it was um, like using a good camera, the same distance away each picture, um, the same lighting and the same time, the same day, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a bit of a cold. So here's a face-on version of Lily. And here's the side version of her. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the side version. We're going to grab the whole picture. File. Copy. We're going to paste it. So we got two different layers. I'm going to undo the background layer. Or double click on the background layer to get rid of that lock. So they're both unlocked. And just X out of that. Um, so we got these two pictures. We got our two layers. And then to the bottom layer we're going to add that. I'm just going to click this button to add the um, yeah, what is it called? Mask. And we're going to control I with the mask still selected to invert it. So now it's black. Clearly. Actually I lied. I think I'm actually going to put the, the merging layer on this one and then control I it so that we can see this picture. Alright, so then we're going to take our uh, paintbrush tool and we're going to make sure it's on white. And then with our mask layer selected, we're going to just sort of... I'm going to make that a bit bigger, actually. <laughs> kind of just roughly go through and get it so that we can see part of her face. Alright, so kind of see her face there, obviously. And then we're going to edit, free transform. I'm going to move it to where I want it. So I'm going to guess I ended up having it like right there. Alright. Click this tool just so I can apply this. I'm probably going to move it again soon. Um, go back into your paintbrush and you can switch it over to black and kind of bring it close to C. Like that's how you're basically going to see what parts are you know, the base photo and what parts aren't. Um, but yeah. This is actually kind of simple. Oops, I meant to change that to white. I actually want it just a bit bigger. And let's also zoom in a bit. So we make sure we get it kind of evenly coded. Go down here, we want to get her chin, some of her hair over here. Alright, that's her chin. Her chin continues to like right there. I don't want to mess with that lip because I kind of want that full lip right there. I'm going to take away her eyebrow. And edit, let's free transform this again. kind of want her eye to line up. That looks pretty lined up actually. So then let's apply that again. Back to our paintbrush. <coughs> and yeah, it's basically just touching it up. Like, I can add her shoulder right here. I can use the shoulder for the top bit. Let's kind of get up here going. Alright, so right there is sort of an issue, that line. 
So let's try using a bit of black. And this is when you're going to need to zoom in a lot. It's actually a bit much though. It can come out like a bit. And you want to you're going to want to take your paintbrush and make it small. Let's go back to white cuz you want to get rid of this line essentially that's just sort of there. So There we go. Again, do we want to like take away that piece of hair? Not that it really matters, but you know. Do we want to add more of this face here? Because I want to make sure I get her full lips in. It's like a clear difference in her skin tone, though, because of the way the shadow falls. So, that's something that you might want to mess around with. Hmm. But a lot of it's just tweaking and being patient. Um, another way to do stuff with this, um, let's go back to normal size. <coughs> is make it so that there's clearly a line right there so we're gonna fix that real quick uh, let's go back into our paintbrush again and what you wanna do is you wanna make it less hard cause that'll make it more of a gray area if that makes sense and if it's more gray um, it's more of a, a blending type of thing so I'm gonna again grab this actually and I'm gonna whoops not backwards I wanna go forwards take my paintbrush now. Where is it? Oops. I don't know what this even is. So, whatever. I'm definitely not a master in Photoshop. Ooh. Let's make sure we have a merge taken. And... Alright. So is our merge still selected? Okay. Oh, I see what we've done. Alright, so I actually didn't want it this color, I wanted it black. And it's just not as hard, it's a bit um, fuzzier. Ooh, that's the exact opposite. Let's push it this way. And it's just a bit fuzzier. Um, I'm gonna undo a few, undo a few of these though. It's just sort of finding what works for you. I didn't mean to click that. And working on it until you get it right. Now, I'm not going to lie. The, I ended up playing around with it and just seeing where her hair is and just highlighting bits of her hair and whatnot. Um and messing around with it for quite some time. I spent at least a few hours on it. And those are a few hours that I'm probably not going to dedicate to this tutorial because I've already done it. Um, the real things to remember is that you're editing this merge layer, not actually either of the pictures. So if we were to just sort of look at it, this is a bit different if we con click control and or I don't mean control, I mean alt and click on it. This is what it sort of looks like. Um, so this is the black bit, and this is the white bit, and some bits right there, like contoured. Or whatever, not contoured, but gray. You can go in and just sort of mess around with those. Just make sure that always have this selected, the merged layer selected whenever you do anything. What's wrong with her eye right there? I don't know. And you can kind of just see what's going on. Need to like apply that transformation or whatever. But yeah, just my little this thing. Just gotta keep messing with it until you get it exactly the way you want to have it.
probably make the face closer if I go and get rid of some of this. But, yeah, in the end, if you work on it long enough, you might end up with something like this, except with your own friends' faces. And I think it's pretty nice and pretty neat. Um, so, yeah, if you found this tutorial um, helpful, let me know in the comments or like this video. If you'd like more Game Makers, uh, not Game Maker, if you'd like more Photoshop tutorials, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm taking a class in it, though, so I'm pretty sure there will be some more. And, yeah. As always, thanks for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, there'll be a link in the description. If you want to check out this guy's website that we're kind of basing a lot of our art off of, a link will also be in the description. Bye.